This video summarises one of the Pedro Top 20 trials. The trial was led by Rochelle Bookbinder and investigated the effect of ultrasound-guided extracorporeal shockwave therapy for plantar fasciitis. Heel pain is a disabling condition affecting up to 10% of runners at some stage. Usually, there's a well-defined point of tenderness where the plantar fascia meets the medial side of the calcaneus. The condition is sometimes called plantar fasciitis. A treatment option is extracorporeal shockwave therapy. That involves application of single pulse sound waves to break up calculi. When this trial was conducted, there was a lack of high quality research evaluating the effects of shockwave therapy for plantar fasciitis. The aim of this study was to estimate the average effect of shockwave therapy compared to placebo on pain in people with plantar fasciitis. 166 adults with plantar fasciitis were recruited. They were eligible if they had pain over the plantar aspect of the heel that had lasted for more than six weeks and had ultrasound diagnosed thickening of the origin of the plantar fascia. 81 participants were randomly allocated to receive real shockwave therapy and 85 to receive placebo shockwave therapy. Allocation was concealed. Both groups were treated using an ultrasound guided extracorporeal shockwave machine. Three treatments were given at weekly intervals. Participants in both groups could continue with lotics or take paracetamol, but no other therapies were allowed. The real shockwave therapy group received two to two and a half thousand shockwaves per treatment at increasing frequency and energy levels up to the participant's pain tolerance with a maximum of 0.33 millijoules. The total mean dose over the three sessions was 1,400 millijoules. The placebo shockwave therapy group received 100 shockwaves per treatment at the minimal energy setting of 0.02 millijoules. The total dose over three sessions in the placebo group was 6 millijoules. The primary outcome was a reduction in self-reported overall pain intensity between baseline and 12-week follow-up. Pain intensity was measured using a 100mm visual analogue scale. As the participants were also the outcome assessors and were blind to treatment, outcome assessment was blind. Analysis was conducted by intention to treat. The difference in pain reduction between the two groups was 1mm in favour of the real shockwave therapy group. The 95% confidence interval ranged from minus 11 to plus 12mm. The entire confidence interval was less than the clinically meaningful effect of 13 millimetres. Ultrasound guided extracorporeal shockwave therapy was no better than placebo for treatment of plantar fasciitis. <laughs>